Welcome to Aptitude Destination. In this video, we'll be dealing with question number 8 from UPSC CSAT 2022 Series A. Please do pause the video and read the question completely. So the question says a bill for Rs. 1840 is paid in the denominations of 50, 20 and 10. It also says that 50 notes in all are used, which means the total number of notes is 50. Let's take it as x, y, and z, where x corresponds to the number of 50 rupees notes, y corresponds to the number of 20 rupee notes, and z corresponds to the number of 10 rupee notes. Now three statements are given. Our job is to find out which ones are wrong. Before jumping into the statements, let's form the equation. So x plus y plus z is equal to 50, where x is the number of 50 rupee notes, y is the number of 20 rupee notes, and z is the number of 10 rupee notes. Now we can write the second equation as 50x, where x is the number of 50 rupee notes, plus 20y, where y is the number of 20 rupee notes, plus 10z, where z is the number of 10 rupee notes, is equal to 1840. I hope you can understand the logic behind framing this equation. The logic is pretty simple. When we multiply the number of notes with the amount, we get the total amount. Say for example, you have 10 rupees notes and you have 4 of them. If you multiply 4 and 10, you'll get the total amount that you have with you, which is 40 rupees. So that's the logic we have followed here. Since there are 3 different denominations, we are multiplying the number of notes with them and then adding them all up. They have given that the total amount is 1840. Thus, the equation is formed. Now we can simplify this equation by dividing it by 10. It gives us 5x plus 2y plus z is equal to 184. Let's name this equation 1 and this equation 2. Let's move on to the statements now. The first statement says 25 notes of 50 rupees are used and the remaining are in the denominations of 20 and 10 which basically means x is equal to 25. Now all we have to do is substitute x in the two equations with which we can solve for y and z. So this gives us 25 plus y plus z is equal to 50. y plus z is equal to 25. Let's name this equation as 1 and substitute in the next equation 5 into 25 plus 2y plus z is equal to 184. Now 5 into 25 is 125 plus 2y plus z is equal to 184. 2y plus z is equal to 184 minus 125. 2y plus z is equal to, this is 9, this is 5, 59. Now solving equations 1 and 2, let's write the first equation down here so it's easier to solve. Subtracting this equation y is equal to 59 minus 25 which is 34. Now y cannot be 34 because y plus z is clearly given as 25 where y should be lesser than 25. So 1 is not possible. Let's move on to the second statement. 35 notes of 20 are used and the remaining are in denominations of 50 and 10. So y is equal to 35. Now we just have to substitute y in both the equations and solve for x and z. So the first equation would be x plus 35 plus z is equal to 50. x plus z is equal to 50 minus 35 which is 15. And the second equation will become 5x plus 2 into 35 plus z is equal to 184. 5x plus z is equal to 184 minus 70. 5x plus z is equal to 114. Now let's name it as 2 and let's solve these two equations to get the value of x. Let's write the first equation down here. So subtracting this equation will give us 4x is equal to 114 minus 15 which is 9 here and 9, 99. Now, 99 divided by 4 is going to give us a decimal value, which is not possible in case of number of notes, right? So we are going to eliminate this as well because 2 is also not possible. 
Let's go with the last statement. 20 notes of 10 rupees are used and the remaining are in the denominations of 50 and 20. So Z is equal to 20. Now we have to do the same process all over again. Substitute Z in both the equations and solve it for X and Y. So the first equation would become X plus Y is equal to 30. The second equation would become 5X plus 2Y plus 20 is equal to 184. Then 5x plus 2y is equal to 184 minus 20. 5x plus 2y is equal to 164. Let's name this as second equation. Solving 1 and 2, let's multiply the first equation with 2. So that we'll get 2x plus 2y is equal to 60. Now this will make it easier for us to solve. Subtracting the second equation, we get 3x is equal to 164 minus 160, which is 104. x is again 104 by 3, which is a decimal value. So we have to also eliminate the third option. Third option is also not possible. Therefore, the answer is 1, 2, and 3, which is option D is the right answer. Thank you for watching the video. I hope you all understood the problem. If you have any queries, you can comment or email aptitude destination.